So yeah, this is the last um, in the sort of triumvirate of summer uh, calls released by uh, NERC in this, in this particular space over the last uh, month. So um, this, is, this is quite a specifically focused call. So it's looking to develop software systems which will help to improve biodiversity monitoring by automating the analysis of images and videos. It launched in, in mid-July, so it was the first of these three calls to go live. Um, so we're looking for applications really that outline um, how tools which will be developed will actually improve the monitoring of biodiversity through automated analysis, uh, develop robust and verified software, um, and also crucially as part of, of the, their delivery include research technical professionals such as research software engineers and, and data scientists. So it, again, um, we're, we're looking for proposals around the, the same size as the other, other two calls, so between half a million and three quarters of a million pounds. This uh, is also a capital call, so we're aiming to fund 100% uh, of the full economic um, cost and for projects to start early um, in 2024, so no later than the end of February. Whoops, one too many. Um, so again, the focus is on developing software systems for image analysis. That can be either in the laboratory or in the field um, to maximize the value, crucially, of physical imaging technologies. So we had... Um, we had a webinar, as with all of these calls, we've had webinars to, to launch them. And um, you'll notice that the, uh, the title of each call set of slides is, is hypertexted. So uh, when these slides are released, you can just click on, cl click on the title and it will send you straight to the relevant note, um, note page, um, which will also include FAQs, all sorts of further uh, information. So. We're looking to develop software toolkits, uh, pipelines, and workflows to support the automated analysis of images and videos. Um, so this could include, for example, things like image annotation and segmentation, high throughput image analysis, um, the development and use of training data sets. Um, all, all of those sort of things would be completely within within scope for the purposes of this uh, funding opportunity. And successful projects will develop robust and verified environmental image processing, which can be broadly used across environmental science and have the capacity to be maintained beyond this initial um, investment. So again, proposals can focus on a specific use case um, but if, if, if that can then subsequently uh, deliver more generic value more broadly across the environmental sciences, that's, that's something we'll definitely be looking at when evaluating uh, proposals that have been submitted. Thank you, Sally. Okay.